Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to convert a vector to a matrix using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the vector that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object appears which is called vec and we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our vector contains of a range of numeric values ranging from 1 to 15. Now if we want to convert this vector to a matrix object, then we can apply the matrix function as you can see in line 5 of the code. And within the matrix function we need to specify the name of our vector, then we need to specify a comma, and then we either need to specify the number of rows or in this case we are specifying the number of columns that our matrix should have. So in this case we are using the ncall argument to specify the number of columns and we are specifying that our matrix should have three columns. Now if you run line 5 of the code you can see that a new matrix object appears at the top right of RStudio which is called mat and we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code and then you can see at the bottom that we have created a new matrix object with three columns and five rows and this matrix contains exactly the same values as our vector however this time these values are stored in the cells of our matrix. So in this video I have explained how to convert a vector to a matrix object using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, in case you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.